Good afternoon all and welcome to another edition of Yachts Tutorials. This will be the first in a series of tutorials about how to survive the first couple of hours of your time in no man's sky. First of all, this will be number one, the first 15 minutes of no man's sky. What you need to do and how to survive it. I've watched a few tutorials, a, a few um, streams and watched how people are having trouble with surviving their first few minutes of, of time in No Man's Sky. And what you need to know is that um, people are having trouble with staying on task of what they absolutely need to do in order to get their supplies online. So here's what you need to do. The first thing you need is to pick your scanner. To pick your scanner, you need a little bit of ferrite dust. For ferrite dust, you need a few rocks. Then you open your memory, your inventory. The item should already be flashing, so you just click on it. With the ferrite dust you've collected, you can just click on that item then you can exit out of your inventory and with your scanner active you just hit the scanner button which I'll put that up on the screen for you but for me on PC it's the button C when you hit C you'll see now that items in your periphery now have little diamonds over them what you're looking for are yellow sodium diamonds or red oxygen diamonds. Yellow ones are the ones that are important, most important right now. And for the first 15 minutes, concentrate on collecting as much sodium and oxygen as possible. You notice that um, notice box that popped up in the bottom right corner that will be where everything important will pop up and just watch for those notices that pop up your scanner will uh, drop off after a few seconds just rescan and look for just keep looking for sodium and oxygen nearby and run for them E is the button for me to collect It'll be different for you if you're on a different platform. So I just look for sodium and oxygen. By the way, what I just did there is what I call a jump slide. Basically, it is a, it's the melee button followed immediately by jump. So if it were a musical note, it would be like ta -dum! So that quickly. So jump slide. It causes you to move forward three times as fast as if you were running. So for the first 15 minutes, that's all I'm doing here is just running around and gathering as much sodium and oxygen as I can possibly find. Because these are the two minerals that I need in order to survive on a hostile planet. The first planet that they drop you on will be hostile in some fashion. Every single planet they drop you on. It will be either cold or hot, toxic or radioactive. It's done on purpose to force you to learn these mechanics. So. You're looking for the yellow NO or the red O. Most importantly, the red, most importantly, the yellow. If you're slowing down like that, it means you're moving up a mountain. If you come to a complete stop, and I'll show you that in just a sec. this just means that you come to a mountainside and you can basically just 
fly straight up the mountain with your jets, like so. There's another sodium right down there. And you just keep on trucking. When you see that top bar on the left hand side, look bottom left corner start flashing, it's time to recharge. To recharge, you hit your recharge button, which for me is X. I'll throw the buttons up on the screen. You hit X and then tap your mouse button three times. So X, tap, 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 and it'll recharge. Or if you have a cave handy, you can jump into a cave or your ship or a building until you're, until you're your your stuff recharges. All of that recharges simply by being inside for a few seconds. Occasionally you will find a grove of oxygen or sodium plants. That was a tiny grove, but sometimes you'll find a grove of like 15 or 20 of them. That's a lucky grove if you find it. And that's the end of the first 15 minutes. You'll see that the next phase, it just marked us for the, for, for the beginning of the first mission. It wants us to go to uh, the location of our crashed ship. It marked a location on our map. It's a red dot or a red symbol. What it wants us to do is go to the location of that symbol and it'll mark it on our map. I'm ending the tutorial now. The next phase will be finding that spot. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next tutorial.